This app is going to display four Swift UI views inside a tab bar. One to show everyone that you met, one to show people you've contacted, another to show people you haven't contacted, and a final one showing your personal information for others to scan. Those first three views are variations on the same concept, but the last one is quite different. As a result, we can represent all our UI with just three views. One to display people, one to show our data, and want to bring all the others together using a tab view. So the first step will be to create placeholder views for our tabs that we can come back to and fill in later on. Press Command N to make a new Swift UI view and call it Prospects view. Then create another Swift UI view called Me view. You can leave both of them with the default Hello World text view. It doesn't matter for now. Instead, what matters is content view, because that's where we're going to store our tab view to contain all the other views in our UI. We're going to add some more logic here shortly, but for now this is just going to be a tab view with three prospect views and one me view. Each of those views will have a tab item modifier with an image I picked out from SF Symbols and some text. Replace the body of your current content view with this. Tab view, prospect view, dot tab item, image, system name, person dot three, text everyone. Then another prospect view, tab item, image, system name, check mark circle, and text contacted. Then a third prospect view with a tab item, this time using the image question mark dot diamond, and text uncontacted. And then me view with a tab item, an image being person.crop.square, and the text me. If you run the app now, you'll see a neat tab bar across the bottom of the screen, allowing us to tap through each of our four views. Now, obviously, creating three versions of Prospect View will be weird in practice because they'll just be identical. But we can fix that by customizing each view. Remember, we want the first one to show every person you've met, the second one to show people you've contacted, and a third to show people you haven't contacted. And we can represent that with an enum plus a property on Prospects View. So add this enum inside Prospects View now. Enum, filter type, case none, contacted, uncontacted. Now we can use that to allow each instance of Prospects View to be slightly different by giving it a new property. Let filter, Filter type. This will immediately break content view and prospects view previews because they have to provide a value for that property when creating prospects view. But first, let's use it to customize each of the three views just a little bit by giving them a navigation bar title. Start by adding this property to prospects view. Var title, string, switch on filter, case.none, return everyone, case.contacted, return contacted people. Case.uncontacted, return uncontacted people. Now add this modifier to the default text view. Navigation view, dot navigation bar title, title. That at least makes each of the prospect view instances look slightly different so we can be sure the tabs are working correctly. To make our code compile again, we have to make sure every prospect view initializer is called with a filter. So, in filtered view previews, change the body to this. Prospects view, filter, none. Then change the three prospects view instances in content view, so they have filter none, filter contacted, and filter uncontacted, respectively. If you're on the app now, you'll see it's looking better. And now for the real challenge. Those first three views need to work with the same data. So how can we share it all smoothly? For that, we have to turn to SwiftUI's environment. 